14 planets and moons in our solar system that have water. 1. Europa, moon of Jupiter. Europa shows strong evidence for an ocean. There's likely liquid water beneath its icy crust. Europa is one of the most promising habitable places outside Earth. 2. Enceladus, moon of Saturn. Enceladus is scored by multiple lines. They're formed by movements of the ice and the subsurface ocean. Enceladus may well have a warm, wet, and salty ocean. It has the highest probability for life. 3. Ganymede, moon of Jupiter. Ganymede is 8% larger than Mercury, but only half of its mass. Such a low density suggests that it's partly made of water. Ganymede also has its own magnetic field. This means that it must have a molten iron core. 4. Callisto, moon of Jupiter. Scientists believe the brighter areas on Callisto are mainly ice. The darker areas are highly eroded, ice ore material. Callisto is similar in composition to Ganymede. It definitely has water, but it might not be liquid. 5. Ceres, dwarf planet. Ceres is a watery dwarf planet. It holds vast reservoirs of subsurface seawater. Ceres has an icy mantle and a slushy ocean below. 6. Mars, planet. The red planet probably once had oceans. There are traces of water left on the surface, but there's a chance Mars might still have some underneath. Theoretically, there may still be acquirers. 7. Titan, moon of Saturn. Titan has a surface slurry of water and non-water ice. The other ice is made of compounds like hydrocarbons. Saturn's largest satellite has abundant pools of liquid. Beneath its hefty ice crust, there may be more liquid water. 8. Dione moon of Saturn. Dione has been dubbed a weaker copycat of Enceladus. This Saturnian moon is much less active now than in the past, but it shows signs of geologic activity. It's possible that Dione retains enough heat for a small ocean to exist. 9. Pluto, dwarf planet. Pluto is definitely mostly an icy world. However, its largest moon, Charon, exerts tidal forces. This means that Pluto could have hosted an ocean. There's a small chance it's still around. 10. Mimas, moon of Saturn. Mimas has been nicknamed the Death Star Moon. It's pretty much one big snowball, but it wobbles unusually as it orbits Saturn. There's a theory that it could be an ocean, but it's still only one possible explanation. 11. Triton, moon of Neptune. Triton consists of a crust of frozen nitrogen over an icy mantle. The mantle likely covers a core of rock and metal. Triton is very similar to Pluto, so there's a chance of an internal ocean. Triton likely has geysers, but they probably shoot nitrogen. 12 and 13. Titania and Oberon, moons of Uranus. Titania and Oberon are likely ice and rocky materials. They might have water, but we can't tell without a closer look. If there's ammonia, there might be liquid water. 14. Umbriel, moon of Uranus. Umbriel too is largely composed of ice. It's even less likely to have an ocean. However, it contains a bright spot of ice near one of its poles. There's also evidence of carbon dioxide gases trapped under the surface 